Hello everyone, it's Tanya, and it's been a while since I've actually made a video. I have been uploading some videos, but I haven't been making any lately. Uh, I'm coming to you barefaced. I have done my moisturizing, and I did a Lush mask today, and I also put on a cooling mask that you put in the refrigerator. But I'm having problems with these under eye bags right here. These puffy little pockets of... I, I believe moisture and I remembered that I had ordered some eye masks from Ulta that I hadn't tried yet so I got them out of the box it's the bliss from our spa to your skin treat yourself triple oxygen instant energizing eye mask and there are four in the box and at the suggestion I, of the company I popped this one in the refrigerator probably warmed up by now. Let me read this to you. It says, like an energy drink for your eyes, this instant brightening treatment is ideal for those who want to fake a full eight hours. With three forms of glow-inducing oxygen, antioxidant vitamin C, and puff pummeling cucumber extract, it will leave your eyes looking lively in 15 minutes flat. So I'm going to put these on my eyes just to do a review for you. I wanted you to see what my eyes looked like before I put them on. And I'm going to record this in two parts because you're supposed to leave them on for 15 minutes. And I've got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. One is my skincare routine that was requested. And then how I packed my makeup to travel, which I'm going to do this time. And I figure it'll probably take me about 15 minutes to do both videos. And I can just upload them back to back. But this is what it looks like. And the instructions say to press the fluid chamber. So, um... I press the fluid chamber. And then it says peel away foil once masks are saturated. So they're getting saturated. Let's see if I can help them along a little bit. Press that and push that until you get them all saturated. And then it says to peel away the foil once the masks are saturated and apply under eyes for 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to peel this away and apply to my eyes. And I'm going to have to use the viewfinder to do this because I did not think ahead and get a mirror over here. Oh, I tore one. My skin is clean even though it didn't say that I had to have clean skin to put these on, but they're wet, so I didn't want to put my makeup on first and, and apply this over that. Okay, and it is kind of cooling. Of course, I put it in the in the refrigerator. It smells like cucumbers. It smells like lightly like cucumbers, so it's not a real overpowering smell. Okay, now for the rest of this video, while I'm waiting on the masks to take effect, I'm going to show you how I packed my makeup to travel. Okay, this is what I took with me to whenever I traveled to see my sister. I took two MAC palettes. I took my Naked palette. I took two um, containers of brushes. And I took a NYX beauty bag. I had ordered a bunch of NYX makeup from, it's, it was a while back, I believe it was from somebody on eBay. And they sent me this beauty bag, which it's very thick. I've already unzipped it, so I wouldn't have to try to do it one-handed. It's very thick. I'll show it to you in just a minute. But I took, uh, if you don't have any anything to put your brushes in, I was going to do this until I remembered that I had these. You can stick your brushes down into a container like this, and then they won't get smashed. You can just stick them in the middle of your suitcase. Yes, it does take up a lot of room, but it is effective and it doesn't ruin your brushes. Okay, so I took my Naked palette, which, uh, by the way, I didn't even use, I don't think, while I was there, except maybe once. Took my two MAC palettes, and the first time that I, when I traveled to Pittsburgh with these, 
I stuck them in my uh, NYX beauty bag. I put a whole bunch of uh, like liner pencils and lip pencils and stuff in here with my brushes. And so I made a little room in here and they fit just fine except I broke my eyebrow. I'll show it to you in just a minute, my eyebrow uh, palette. So anyway, uh, coming back from Pittsburgh, I decided to go ahead and do this because my uh, club is breaking because it was just being treated too rough. And this one right here is breaking too. I think it's de bling. Yep, de bling. And uh, I took the containers out of my MAC palettes because I had so many different um, neutrals that I wanted to keep up with. And I wanted them all in the same palette. So this is how I made my MAC palette. But coming back, one thing that you need to realize is these things are going to bounce, get bounced around. And once, I real, once uh, it occurred to me to do this uh, on the way back, then I stuck a piece of paper towel in on top and it worked out just fine to travel with. And I stuck them in between some clothes, some soft clothes that I had in my suitcase so that they wouldn't get bounced around as well. Okay, and then I took two brush rolls and like I said, on my way down there, I put a bunch of eyebrow pencils, eyeliner pencils, lip pencils, different pencils in with these and I just took these brushes. I did take a container of alcohol for uh, spot cleaning and then I took these face brushes and some clip some clips to clip my pull my hair back with and then get into the beauty bag now I have this opened so it's kind of gonna fall I think but let me just open it here and see if I can get this right okay now like I said this uh, makeup bag was sent to me uh, I believe it was a free gift I don't believe I had to, to pay for this if I did it wasn't very much or it was uh, just a discount with a bunch of the NYX products that I bought and this was probably a year ago So I really don't remember where it came from But you open up this flap right here and you've got a little pocket and you have a zippered area that you can keep things in Which I don't really keep a whole lot in there because I like this extra area And I took my q-tips. I took a paper towel to spot clean my brushes with I took my alcohol for spot cleaning and I took my all-nighter to set my makeup with I took my Face primer by Urban Decay. Took my tweezers and um, I took my sharpener and it has uh, sharpened for both of them. And then I took this. This is what I put my um, eye concealer in. It is very, very thick and it's so much easier because once you pull it out of the tube, it's a tart that I got in a kit. Once you pull it out of the tube, it's so thick that you get too much. So I just use a small brush with this. small flat brush with this and I dip it down into the product I'm just gonna have to try to open this I dip it down into the product and then I paint it along the sides to get the excess off but see how thick that is that is that tart that I got in a kit and it's really bright so I use that to um, to uh, not under eye concealer, my under brow concealer. I apologize. I made a mistake on that and realized it. Uh, it's for my under brows to uh, define them. And I just kind of run it along underneath my eyebrows and use some powder to set it. And then I just stuck a couple of, I stuck a tart blush in here in Blissful because I wanted a variety of blushes. I took about three or four. And that's what it looks like. And then I took my MAC. I don't know how I'm going to do all this single handed here. I took my MAC highlighter in Whisper of Guilt. Ah, just dropped it. My Whisper of Guilt. And then in this first pocket, right, and actually this is actually four brushes, but I had too many brushes. So I just used, a, used this extra room that was in here for my thicker things, my more awkward items. Um, like the bottles and, you know, things, things that don't fit in the zipper compartment as well. Um, and then in this first zipper compartment, you can see through it, it's mesh. And it's plastic on one side and mesh on the other, so you can see it. And I have, like, my, my little razors. And I have a lip balm. I don't know what that is. Um, some NYX eyeliners, pencils. I have some my eyebrow pencils, some black eyeliners. A um, Revlon Just Bitten lip um, stain. And then my Giorgio Armani corrector right there. Makes it easy to see and easy to handle. In the next pocket I have my Painterly Paint Pot. 
I have my color tattoo. I believe it's uh, asphalt. Uh, taupe set, uh, taupe is taupe. And then I have um, my, like I said, my Painterly paint pot. And this is my, this is my uh, BB cream that I use. It's a number 31 Misha BB cream. And I just had a little sample of that that I could use to travel with. And then I also took my, sorry about that, not getting in frame, uh, my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and that's in 140 Honey. That's what I use underneath my eyes. And then in the next pocket, I have one that is thicker, and it doesn't come up. It's just a little bit thicker, so I put the more bulky things in here. And I use, I put my eyelash curler in there, and I put my setting powder in there. That's what I've been using lately is the Cora's. Then my eyebrow palette from Anastasia. And it was my fault that this got broken. I broke the mirror. Uh, it was my fault because I, whenever I crammed everything into my makeup bag going up to Pittsburgh, I put my palettes in there because they actually fit. They actually fit there, so I didn't have any of my um, eyeliners and, you know, the, my, my pencils. I didn't have any of these in there, so they fit just fine, but it was too tight of a fit for my eyebrow kit, so it broke it, so I decided I wasn't going to do that coming back, so I have that, and then I have my NARS um, bronzer in Laguna. I have my Bobbi Brown um, blush in Nectar. And I have my NARS Orgasm blush, and then I have a bunch of perfume samples, my mascara, and more perfume. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys how I packed for my trip, and this is really all I took with me. I did take a few items that I had worn down there in a small makeup bag in my purse, but I just used that makeup bag to just change out whatever I was using on my lips that day. And, uh... It worked out pretty good. I mean, nothing got broken except for that mirror, so it worked out fine, and it wasn't even the airline's fault. It was mine for the way I packed. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back in just a few minutes with the results from my Bliss eye treatment. Thank you.